now I'm about to sew up some scrunchies and I just want to show you my new sewing machine that I just got. It's a Singer um, heavy duty machine and I definitely needed something more heavy duty so that's why I purchased this one. And honestly, it is a dream. Like it is so, so good. I love it so much. I was using my mom's sewing machine for a while and um, it was just like a little brother like casual sewing machine. It wasn't like um, commercial or industrial or anything and neither is this one but it is definitely a step up and it even says it's heavy duty and it definitely is i'm so glad i got it it was 200 dollars, and for that price i think it was a really good purchase um, i'm really happy with it if you guys are interested in this one it'll be in my amazon favorites but i definitely recommend this machine when i start a business that requires sewing this is a really good starter machine i wish i started off with this one just making some scrunchies right now so i have a bunch right here that i need to sew the ends of um and if you don't know what i'm talking about i have to close the little holes that they have right here but they're all already um assembled i just have to do that last step and then i'll be done so i'm restocking a bunch of scrunchies right now i restock some white ones i don't know if you can see but they're back there and then i'm restocking um rose gold and then purple anyways i'm gonna get to sewing so let's do that Okay guys, as promised, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make repeating patterns. I'm doing this on Procreate, so let's get started. I'm covering up some artwork right now because there's secrets there that you can't see just yet. You're gonna go to the top right corner and press the little plus sign. I'm gonna go ahead and select this little thing right here. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna change this to inches like this. You're gonna do 10 by 10 and it should look like this. So once you have your 10 by 10, you're either gonna start your drawing or insert any like elements or already made um, transparent background pictures or whatever you want to put on this canvas so i'll show you what i'm going to be doing i'm going to be inserting some artwork for puppy locks image is now in here you can see right here and i'm just going to do that for every element that i want or any artwork that i want or you can draw from scratch i already have some elements going on here start changing some colors and kind of putting them in the, their position and everything and what you want to do is whatever is in your artwork on this frame make sure none of it is touching any of the edges you can get it as close as you want but just make sure that it's not going off of the edge so everything should be inside of the canvas so i'm going to start doing that now also before i go any further you can do this step now or later it doesn't matter but i'm going to add my background just to kind of see how i want my color elements to be so i'm going to go ahead and add just another whoops another layer and i'm going to drag that underneath and then i'm going to make that color my background so i can kind of see what i want to you know base my other colors off of um so i'm thinking like definitely very pink theme trust the process guys it's gonna look better um but let's see maybe like a light pink I'm not too sure. And again, I'm just using elements right now as an example, but you can have your own art drawn or whatever you'd like. Um, I will probably end up outlining this as well just to bring it, just to give it a little bit more color. Um, so just bear with me. Okay, so I played around a little bit, changed some colors up, and this is what um, I'm going to go for. Now I'm just going to kind of move them around in different positions, different directions. Um, and just kind of play it by ear and see what I like. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to move it around until I get something that I like, and then um, I'm going to move on to the next step, so I'll show you that later. Okay, so for right now, I'm just going to go with this. I've got everything how I like it, and now I'm going to save one of each of the elements. Whoops, not delete. 
Um, I'm going to save one of each of the elements um, in case for later and you'll see why but just save one of each of your elements or your artwork or whatever one of each okay and then just hide those I'm also going to save one of my background as well actually just in case I always like to be extra sure because I've had many times where I go back to like look for something and I didn't end up saving the original so it's like better to always just be safe than sorry so anyways now you're going to group all this together and you should have just one whole now what you're going to do is you're going to duplicate this four more times and again I like to save one of each of everything so I'm going to save that original one just in case um, it'll make it a lot easier in case I have to go back and change anything, but that's what I'm going to do for this. And now what you're going to do is you're going to make sure that your snapping is on. So right here, you're going to select one of the layers and make sure snapping is on. Um, some people have magnetics too, but I don't really find a need for it. It's up to you, but snapping should be on. And what you're going to do is you're going to move each of the layers, one end of the corners, and you should see that these yellow lines line up um they will snap into place like that and you can see that right there in the center and then you'll also see it right here on the sides when it's even so there you go now it's even so you're going to do that for all four of these and they should all end up in different corners Okay, so now that they're all in different corners, you should get something like this. And this is where you're going to go in and make any changes that you don't like. So for example, right off the bat, these two are very close together and I don't like that. So I'm going to go ahead and change that. But first, I'm going to group all of this together. That way I can just draw over this whole thing. And now I'm going to go ahead and draw over this just to make some changes. So I don't like the placement of this peace sign, so I'm going to change that now. And that's why we saved the other elements. In case anything like this happened, you can go in and make some changes or fill in any spaces that you don't like. Um, so, for example, there's some spaces here. I don't mind them, but that's up to you. So I'm going to place that just a little bit higher than where it was. So it looks like a little more spaced out. Kind of like there okay so i don't love this area here so i'm going to try to space this maybe right here and move this a little bit more so we're going to do that so let me drag some replacements and i'm going to show those and then i'm going to go ahead and go back to my original and just draw over these Okay, and then I'm going to grab this and just kind of place it sort of right here. A little bit, maybe to this side. Okay, I'm going to drag this here, drag this a little bit more down as well. So I'll add another layer. And you kind of have to play around with it. I, I still haven't gotten the hang of it too much in terms of like the original placing. I know there's ways that you can probably get it so you don't have to do all this, but I haven't figured it out quite yet. So you might have to play around with it and drag that kind of like right there. That looks a lot better. I like that placing. There we go. And then move that little rainbow a little bit further. Yeah, and then maybe another flower right here okay and again you might have to play around with this a little bit to get it how you like it but for now we're gonna leave it like this okay so now that I like the end I think that's good okay we're gonna leave it like that um, again I'm just doing this very quickly but take your time with this because at least for me the placements bother me so much and you'll see um, in the end result but anyway so we're gonna group all that together again now and we're gonna duplicate that four more times again just to be safe I like to have an extra and now this time we're gonna go to, to each of the corners again but now you're gonna be dragging the whole square to the corner 
and again it should snap in place like that and you're just going to do that for each of them like that and then again make sure that the lines are lining up you should see those orange lines snapping into place and there you go so as you can see again this is why I was saying how the placement is pretty important because as you can see, for example, over here, there's a lot of flowers in this one area. There's like three right there. Again, that's just something that bothers me personally, but it could be different for everyone. Um, but again, take your time with the placements and just kind of play around with it and get it how you like it. This is just a quicker little tutorial, but if I were to do something differently, it would definitely be kind of spacing these out a little bit better and kind of filling the areas a little more to my liking maybe adding a little diamond or something in between um, just because there are a little a lot of gap as you progress you'll start to learn new little tricks and things like that but for the most part there you go that's how you make a repeating pattern now we're gonna group those together as well and there you go there's your repeating pattern and again, if you want to go back and make any changes, you can because we have that original. So you can just start from scratch again if you don't like it. You can change things around. And that's why it's super important, again, to save originals of each of everything. I didn't do this when I first started and it like t I totally regretted it. So it's always better to be safe than sorry. Just make sure you have one of each. And again, you have that base layer. You have the second middle layer. I know you can do this on... Um, Canva as well. Um, you might have to have Canva Pro to be to resize and everything. I'm not 100% positive. Don't quote me on that. But if you want to see a Canva version on this, I can totally do that for you guys as well. Let me know if you guys found this helpful. And if you want to see the Canva version, let me know in the comments down below. Okay guys, so I have a bunch of my pre-cuts here and I'm ready to start working on some orders this week. Um, these are all the cups that I have to make so far um, for this week's orders and this does not include restocking. So these are simply just for orders and then I'm going to show you what my shelves look like right now. So this is the shelving situation I've got going on here. Um, same thing down here as well and then literally no milk cartons um it's never usually this bad i usually always have some in stock but i have not been able to keep cups on the shelves you guys i make them all and they just get sold out so quickly which is a lovely problem to have don't get me wrong but it has been a lot of working overtime over here to get these shelves stocked up kind of sucks but it is what it is so let's get to making some cups This is everything I got done so far. I made a pretty good dent. Just got all these mugs left. After that, this is all gonna be for restocking. So some things still need like seeds and things like that, but for the most part, got a lot done. So don't forget to subscribe and turn on your post notifications so you don't miss a video. And make sure to follow me on TikTok and Instagram for more content, and I will see you guys in the next one.